Hey guys, Sam here, and it is the first day of week two working on the go kart. And I'm and you're probably wondering why am I not outside working on it? Why am I in my room? Well, it snowed last night, uh, but I did get two uh, packages, so I'm gonna open them and show you what I got. All I need now is I'm waiting on the axle and one more thing, but I'll show you what I got here. So this first one is, uh, I believe this is the chain we got. So the chain and these, uh, I think they're called, I'm, I'm not sure what they're called. I think axle locks or something. Then you slide on and stop the wheel from sliding or whatever. So I got those and then I got torque converter and what comes in with this box I just ordered it online I didn't you know I just looked up a torque converter for the engine and this is what I found uh, but it comes with a belt it comes with this whole assembly and it actually comes with like the hardware and stuff and it actually comes with a uh, second sprocket there's a, uh, I believe a 10 tooth and a 12 tooth so I could uh, decide which one I want once we get the axle and all that stuff. So it's day two of week two. I got a bunch of parts that came in, but here's what I'm dealing with. Ah, just gotta love spring in Cleveland. So we got about 15 minutes before my mom comes home. So we're gonna try to hurry this, like up with this because we don't need her seeing a go-kart in the living room. So we ended up getting the uh, rear axle, which lifted up the back end up to 12 inches and then dropped the front end to like four and a half inches. We also spread out the back tires to get it that fat look in the back. And it has that hot rod stance and I think it's gonna come out nice. So that's what we got so far. And as you saw, it's snowing, so we just gotta wait for those nice days to come to put on the engine and do the rest. All right, well guys, I gotta go clean up this living room before my mom gets here. So guys, it's a nice day out, so I figured I'd go uh, get some stuff I need from some stores and then go back home and work on the go-kart. So guys, I just got in the store. The Corona is crazy. I had to stand in line. I thought I was like going on some new roller coaster. And like me and Mikey, as you can tell, we're keeping the distance. Uh, but now we just gotta find the stuff that we need and uh, I'll get to you once I'm done with uh, looking around this empty store. All right guys, so we finally got out the store. We found everything that we need. Um, and uh, it was actually pretty easy to find. I don't know if it was because of there was not many people in there or we just took our time looking. So anyways, we're just gonna see you back at the house and do some work to the go-kart. So here we are on day four, and uh, I've, I have to uh, extend the frame, so I'm extending it uh, 10 inches because the engines are so big, we didn't really have much room, so I'm extending it to be able to put the engine plate on and have a, enough room for the engine. So guys, uh, Here's day five. Uh, it's really nice out, so I figured I'd get some more work done. So I'm gonna do some more welding.
So guys, uh, it's the ending of week two, and I want to show you what I got done so far. As you see, I extended the uh, frame about 10 inches. I built a whole new box, some, some ports and stuff. Got the engine plate mounted on. I got the engine mounted on, because, or not mounted, but mocked up, because uh, I'm waiting on a chain, and before I uh, bolt it down, I want to get the chain first. So, other than that, it's almost ready to ride. I'm sorry I couldn't get more finished. The weather's been a hit and miss. So, hopefully next week we can get more done. So, thanks for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I hope you enjoy down the Lashmer Road.